hello everyone in the last video i have created this form and i have done the user input validations so in this video how we can store up these fields data into my database server okay and one more important thing is that if your database is ever compromised by an att attacker it's a hugely important that it doesn't contain the plain text versions of of you uh, uh, of users passwords and it's very good fact uh, it's very good good practice to store one way uh, hash of pa uh, of the password and derived with computationally expensive key derivation function so such as uh, bcrypt so i'm going to use the bcrypt bcrypt package in go So this package will uh, convert the password string into the hash so, so that we can store our passwords in database as hashes. Okay, we'll do it how we can do that. Okay. So I have imported the bcrypt package. So then I'm going to change the code in uh, insert method. First thing I'm going to write the code for the bcrypt generated password. This generate from password method will convert the plain text into hashed password. This So this could be hashed password. And then I'm going to check the error is nil or not. Okay, so now I have to write a query for inserting these data, uh, these data into my database. So I already wrote a query. So this is the query statement. In order to execute this query statement uh, in Go, we use the exq method. So I already mentioned in my previous videos, in that you can check that how we can execute the SQL queries in Go. So in order to execute this query, I'm going to write db dot exq. What I'm going to execute, name, email, and password. Name, email, the password could be hashed, hashed password. Okay, so I executed this and it will give the error. Now I'm checking the error. If error not equal to nil. So nil. And then I am checking the I'll tell you, let it explain. So here I have used the uh, exq method to insert the user details and hashed password into uh, my user's table in my SQL server. So if the uh, if this users uh, if this uh, exq method uh, returns an error and we try to type uh, asset to asset it to the mysql dot mysql error and check uh, it check whether uh, uh, we also check whether or not error relates to the uh, error relates to our users UC email. Okay, users uh, UC email key by checking the contents of the message string. If it does, and we return uh, error duplicate uh, error duplicate email error. Otherwise, we just return original error. Okay, so. Once we have done this, we have to go to handlers, handlers functions in order to 
execute this uh, insert method so go to handlers.go it is handlers.go okay this is handlers.go then in handlers.go i have to pass the insert method i already passed the insert method i didn't pass where is it yes here uh, in sign up user handler function so just go to just write the app dot insert sorry app dot users dot insert now here form dot get should be form dot form dot get name should be same for the email and password email and password so we have to check if this returns the error and if they as usually uh, if this error returns the uh, duplicate email then we have to display the uh, this address is uh, is already in use model start error duplicate email form dot error start form dot error start add email address is already in use and then I'm going to render the page if it is error appears same page So sign up dot page dot PMP. I'm not I'm not I'm displaying data form data which is like a flash message form then return return this page then we have to check the er uh, error as well so this will return server error and then return the server error okay now uh, Otherwise, uh, add a confirmation flash, flash message to session confirming that their sign up worked and asking them to log in. So, now to do that, session Keyword is flash and sign up a successful is login. Okay, if it is okay, I have to display the login page. Let us see other. So I'm sorry, it is a session dot put method.
okay so everything is okay I'm going to restart the server okay now open the browser go to home click on sign up okay hello world hello world at the rate example.com password length should be 10 characters okay if I click this so once I if I click this I the data has to be stored on my SQL database server okay we'll go to the terminal and open the table users table start from users perfect hello world hello world example and then password in hashed okay now so if you check if you copy any of this uh, any of this mail and try to re-sign up uh, you will get error I think okay go to home sign up just type the same password hello world password like okay this field is invalid okay because it's already there So if you observe, so if I clicked on, I clicked sign up, so I got this already, address is already in use, okay. So I hope you understand guys, thank you so much. In the next video, I'm going to show how can we log, uh, how can we log in, in our snippet application. So if I click this, so there is, there has to be some login form. Okay, I'm going to create the form for this uh, login operation in the next video. I hope you understand. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.